Hi, my name is Tom. Uh, I'm from Seaside Aquatics. Today I'm going to show you how to uh, install uh, Eco uh, 20 RDF and we're going to install a pump fed version. So, this version, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to feed the, the, the RDF by a pump. So, the pump is going to pull the water from the pond and push into the RDF, and from the RDF, it will flow back into the pond. So, the main thing is this unit has to be above the water. So it must be above the water so the water can flow back into the pond. Um, so here we still have four, three connections. And each connection is four inches. So we only can use one or two depending on the, the pump that you're using. Um, you can buy a cap from Home Depot, cap it off, or you can buy a, a redu reducer from four inch down to three inch, down to two inch or one and a half inch to fit your, your pumps. Whatever hole that we don't need, we're gonna cap it off and shut it off. Uh, waste tray is also four inch. You can go with four inch to four inch, or you can buy a, a, a reducer like this one. It's four inch to uh, two inch, and then go down out to the sewer or go out to wherever you want it to, to go out. Um, over here um, is the water outlet for pump fed. So pump fed, we're gonna use this two hole, one on each side. So again, four inch to four inch. Uh, we recommend it to keep it, do not reduce it because the water come out will be faster than if you don't, um, if, if you don't the water uh, reduce it and uh, restrict the water flow and you're gonna have a uh, problem. So um, here, we don't, uh, you don't use it, so we go ahead and, and cap it off. And right here is the booster pumps. From the booster pumps, well, um, you can get this one, um, the connector from Home Depot, one and a half to one and a half and then you buy this kind of reduce, uh, uh, reducer. It's one and a half outside and it's one inch on, on inside because the, uh, the booster pump is taking one inch in and out. So you, you put it here, clamp it down, and from here it's one inch. And you can get this connector again from Home Depot. Uh, apply tape, silicon, so it won't leak. And from here you connect it. From here to here is one inch pipe. And then from here to here is one inch. We, we provide you with this gray uh, connect, uh, coupling. Glue it, glue it, and then you glue the pipe in, into here, and the water will pull out from here. The pump will push the water in, spray, and, and clean it. Again, you don't need this, you cap it off, okay? You can buy elbow, go up, whichever you like. All this part are available at Home Depot. Um, for the outlet, we recommend you to use the, um, the T, because what happened was, if you don't use, what happens is that if you don't use the tea, the water here will flow back into your pond, but later on, it will trap air into here. And when it trap air into here, it will slow down the flow. So with this, take, you know, take your hand that pipe. For here, you connect it into here, and what this call, we call it the air hole. So, we pull out air at the same time, so it's created pressure, and it will uh, eliminate that air bubble trap inside. The water will flow more even and stronger um, than normal. So you can, again, you can do this. Keep the pipe at four inch. I would not reduce it to uh, any smaller. Keep it at four inch and go back into it. So there's one on each side. You do the same thing. Okay, so the important thing about the pump fed version is that the replacement of the, the placement of the sensor is on the dirty side and not on the clean side. So here is the sensors. And the sensor it consists of two flow, the bottom flow and the top flow. So when you set it up, the top flow need to line up with the waste tray. So in case if the water keeps going up, the, the top flow will it will drag the top flow and the top flow will will turn off the pumps, will turn off the motor, will turn off the, the, spray, the spray pumps and prevent the water from coming out of the waste tray. So again, line up with the waste tray, the, the top valve, the, I mean, the top flow. And at the second flow here, it will activate the cleaning cycle. So every time it go, it go up, it will, spray, it will activate the, 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 the drums, it will activate the spray bar, uh, the, the booster pump, it will spray, it will clean. And when it clean, the water will come back down. 
I'm gonna come back down, it will drag the, the sensor back down as, as well. So again, the replacement of this sensor uh, flow is very important. So make sure to line it up with the waste tray. Then you connect the sensor into the controller. The first outlet plugs here, you connect the, the motor. And the second one is you connect the booster pump, the, the green pumps into here. And the third one is you connect the, the feed pump, the pump that feeds the water into here. You connect it into here, and this will control the water that going in and the, the cleaning cycle. And like I say, if it's the, the flow is activated, it will shut down the pump, prevent it from emptying your pond. So um, again, thank you for the support. And if you have any questions uh, or concerns, um, you can email us at seasideaquatics at yahoo.com or you can call it at 714-491-7181. Um, or you can find us on Facebook and uh, just uh, shoot us a text, send us a message, um, an email, and we will reply um, right away. Again, thank you for your support.